welcome to memes from across the pond. We haven't done this in a while, so hopefully yeah. these ones are good. I hope so. Let me just see if these headphones work. That's they always work. the first hurdle. They should. <laughs> they should Let's see. Okay. It's always a potluck. Wait, hold on. Yeah. Oh, fuck remember. you, because your ass is full of... This is, this is my true. area, and I'm afraid to fuck you, because your ass is full of bacteria. <laughs> <laughs> He's tight. <laughs> one of the comments. Asian Eminem. <laughs> one of the comments was, "Bro, you won, but at what cost?" <laughs> <laughs> this is my area, because your ass is full of bacteria. You can win the war, or you can win a nuclear holocaust. <laughs> <laughs> Someone give him some clean <laughs> ass. He deserves it. All right, next one. Kid, would you like some drugs? The first one is free. Want to check out my van? I got some candy. Hey, kid. Want to join our gang and spray paint under a bridge? No, no. Bug off, man. I'm going roller skating. Today, we will go to college tomorrow. Yeah. This ball, people that have never roller skated. Oh, that's sad. I'm Brad Armstrong, owner of Roller Kingdom in Reno, Nevada, keeping your kids off the streets since 1999. I say no to drugs. I say no to gangs. I say no to unplanned pregnancy. I say no to meth. I say no to <laughs> reaper. I say yes to roller skating. Man, this part of Kingdom is really putting us out of business. You said it, man. This deal sucks. But you know what? Maybe we should give up this life of crime and start roller skating. Yes. <laughs> good happy ending. <laughs> when the ads are actually good. Look, I, I feel stupid asking this, but please, that had to have been aired on TV. Yeah, it, well, I mean. Was it? It probably was so aired on regional TV. So many questions. It probably was aired on regional TV. And that old man is the Gary Oldman of commercials. So. <laughs> <laughs> He's been doing he was it the so child. seasoned professional. <laughs> <laughs> you could tell by the way he beautifully acted. <laughs> and the character redemption arc that he pulled, built into the character. Who else could do that? Yeah, who else could do the happy ending? It started from pedophilia to being everyone being happy. What an art. Dude, going to a place filled with kids. Well done. <laughs> <laughs> right, next one. Ambulance service. Is the patient breathing? Okay, please. Uh, I'm just ringing because my partner should teach you on me. Right. Is I'm the patient... To listen to me. Is the patient breathing? Hello? Is the patient <laughs> breathing? Everybody okay. I want you, ambulance, to come to my house to go to do DNA test. Excuse what? me. <laughs> Why? <laughs> because my parents is teaching on me. Right. Okay. This is an emergency service. We don't do DNA tests. Yeah, it's an emergency service as well because we argue for that. Right. To sleep run. Sir, li sir, listen to me. Run. Listen to me. This is an emergency <laughs> line. We don't deal with domestic cases and we don't do DNA tests. So I suggest you speak to somebody else. Which number? Can I have the number, please? <laughs> I've not got a number for DNA tests, I'm afraid. Thank you very much. Bye. Bye-bye. <laughs> <laughs> the best prank calls are not pranks. <laughs> he genuinely, he was, he, all of a sudden, he, he looked at all of his kids. He's like, you could be someone else's kids. <laughs> it was an emergency to him. It was an emergency to him. What would you have done? I'd call the emergency. <laughs> send an ambulance. Everyone okay? Now you send an ambulance to do the DNA test. Awesome. Oh, he needs These to are all on, great. He needs to go on like Jerry Springer. You are not yeah, the father. Yeah. They should have just given him that line. Contact Maury. <sighs> These memes give me life. <laughs> 
Man finds out he's been pooping wrong his whole life. Touched shit before. None of, none of, no, I've never shit in a tissue before. You shit, you touch shit every single day if you shit. Like, you don't wipe yourself? It got shit in the tissue when you wipe yourself. You don't know how to get the... It. Why are you touching the shit? The tissue no. is for the shit. That's what I'm saying. You you grab shit no, all the no, time No, no, no. You're tissue. not saying that. You don't. Yeah, you You're wipe. wipe and you grab the shit. You don't grab... Why are you grabbing hold shit? Hold on, hold on. Do you got so shit you stuck me... in your ass while hold you're on, taking... Are you telling me that y'all just let the doodle fall in the toilet? Y'all don't catch it every time? Yo. What? I am about to leave, bro. <laughs> How do y'all take a shit? I must have seen this shit wrong. My <laughs> Catching my shit all these years. Now I'm more disgusted than like, I feel like I can't continue. What are you talking about? I'm, my stomach So hold is on, so y'all just sit there and shit right, come right out. No way. What happens if you got the runs or something like that? Yo, what do you do then? That shit, you wash your hair? Why do you think people wash their hands? Yo, you shit in your hand, bro? With tissue. <laughs> this is worse than I thought. Like, I thought it was some other shit. Like, Yo, but this is so some shitty shit. You tell me I just sit there and just let it fucking shit in the toilet? Where's your pee go, dumbass? Yeah, that's, that's pee is easy. <laughs> I don't know. I just always shit it in the tissue. So you throw the shit in the garbage instead of let it no, flush out the toilet? No, I after I fucking do it, I just throw it right in the toilet. This garbage thing. Is it incredible that with the same fervor that we debate political ideas, they're debating <laughs> shitting in your hand? Yeah, but dude, I think they need to. The guy doesn't know how to shit. Yeah, yeah, it deserves passion. He deserves some kind of guidance, and he <laughs> clearly didn't get it when he was growing up. Dude, like he's grabbing shit, and I don't, I don't even know if you need to be told that. Yeah, well, uh, just... no one is because it's fucking obvious. But like, <laughs> if you, why are you like, why are you grabbing it and then putting it back in? Like, what's the? What? He didn't explain that. What's he the didn't point? explain how he got to that point. He's like, uh, I don't know. I guess like people that use bidets and shit wipe their ass, but like. They still yeah, they're wiping the their ass. Yeah, but after they're done pooping, I know. Too, like, not, like, <laughs> grabbing it, catching it like it's a cricket ball. <laughs> uh, that was so I'm happy that that man was eventually told because he could like you know live his entire life just catching shit every day <laughs> of his life. <laughs> All right, last one. Uh, yeah, go on. Trading crypto, <laughs> sell high, buy low. What? What? Panic selling. Oh! <laughs> 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 People that get into crypto a year ago. The only thing that's better than jackass is Japanese jackass. Oh, There's something very satisfying about watching Japanese men getting hurt. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> no, that wasn't satisfying. That was just tragic. <laughs> it's a fine line. <laughs> and he's like, stop, stop. <laughs> the best thing about that was that, like, you thought it couldn't get any better. Yeah, and yeah, it yeah. Did. <laughs> panic selling. <laughs>